The Labor Day holiday is coming up. Traditionally marks the end of our summer fun. So I thought it would be nice to take a light-hearted approach to, to, to today's devotion. With uh, that in mind, here are some uh, cute little things somebody came up with in honor of Labor Day. I'm not always the, a huge fan of puns, but I think you'll get a chuckle from these. I know I did. Here's a first-person report of someone who was not quite as successful as he hoped to be in the job market. He says, as a young man, my first job was in an orange juice factory, but I couldn't concentrate on the same old boring rind, so I got canned. Then I worked in the woods as a lumberjack, but I just couldn't hack it, so they gave me the axe. After that, I tried working in a donut shop, but I soon got tired of the whole business. I manufactured calendars, but my days were numbered. I tried to be a tailor, but I was, just wasn't suited for it, mainly because it was a so-so job, depleting and depressing. I took a job as an upholsterer, but I never recovered. In my prime. Next, I tried working in a car muffler factory, but that was exhausting. I wanted to be a barber, but I just couldn't cut it. Then I was a pilot, but tended to wing it, and I didn't have the right attitude. I studied to become a doctor, but I didn't have enough patience for the job. I became a Velcro salesman, but I couldn't stick with it. I tried my hand at a professional career in tennis, but it wasn't my racket. I was too high strung. I became a baker, but it wasn't a cakewalk and I couldn't make enough dough. I was a masseur for a while, but I rubbed people the wrong way. I managed to get a good job working for a pool maintenance company, but the work was just too draining. Later in life, I became a personal trainer in a gym, but they said I wasn't fit for the job. I thought about being a historian, but I couldn't see a future in it. Next, I was an electrician, but I found the work shocking and revolting, so they discharged me. I tried being a teacher, but I soon lost my principal, my faculties, and my class. I turned to farming but I wasn't outstanding in my field. I took a job as an elevator operator. The job had its ups and downs and I got the shaft. I sold origami, but the business folded. Finally, I took a job at UPS, but I couldn't express myself. I tried being a fireman, but I suffered burnout. I became an a banker, but I lacked interest in maturity and finally withdrew from the job. I was a professional fisherman, but I couldn't live on my net income. I next worked in a shoe factory, but I just didn't fit in. They thought I was a loafer and I got the boot. I worked at Starbucks, but I had to quit because it was always the same old grind. So I've retired, and I find I'm a perfect fit for this job. A Bible verse to conclude, 1 Corinthians 15. The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Amen.